uh, even all. Uh, my last uh, stash update. I mentioned I had this um, an electric nail file is what it is, but I wanted to use it as a um, rotary tool that I could just have here use at my bench for really only suitable I would think for light light bits of work, but uh, I think it's better than having a big huge Dremel. Uh, I do on my on my large Dremel. I do have a um, flexible shaft, which the end of the flexible shaft is, is like a, it's about the size of this hobby knife. So it is very controllable as well. Like I said, I have that out of my other little shop area uh, upstairs and I use it out there and I didn't want to be carting it back and forth. So I said for 20 bucks, I'd give one of these things a try and see how it works. The other nice thing, this one only works on a USB, uh, not a wall plug. I had hoped that it was uh, rechargeable, however it's not. Um, I'm sure if you looked on Amazon you could probably find one that was cordless, uh, but this one is not. This one is controlled by this little box. Uh, see there it has its on off and it has its speed here. Uh, it's very, very quiet. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear it. But it's very quiet and quite fast. I think it go up to 20,000 RPM, but it's also quite slow, which is good for plastic, I find. So the other thing I didn't realize until I actually looked at it, uh, it doesn't have an adjustable, like an adjustable collet on here. So basically you can, you can only fit one size of you can only fit bits that have one size of a shaft on it, which I, like I said, I didn't realize. Um, I'm sure you can find other tools besides the ones that come with it. Uh, so these are the, um, it comes with two lots of bits. Uh, so I, I think these will do fine again for what I need it for. Uh, it kind of makes sense really because it's, it's not a shop tool, it's for doing your nails, right? So, but all you do is you uh, put it in, and as you push it in, you can feel it, the resistance there. So it does, it really does grip really well. Um, so just let me turn it on here and see what kind of power it has. I have an old piece of a sprue here. Unfortunately, I don't have anything here right now that needs to be sanded. So I just have this old piece of sprue, so I'll use it on this and just see what the power of it's like. Right now it's on its lowest setting. You can barely, barely hear it. Oh yeah, so it does pretty good. I'm just going to turn it up. So I don't know if you're able to, if the camera is picking it up because again it is very 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 quiet. Yeah, it's not overly powerful, but again, it's it's not bad for here doing light stuff here at the desk, which is exactly what I have it for. I have a. You know, I have a full-size Dremel for other stuff. So you can see it is biting into the plastic pretty good. So I just let me pause this for one second and I'll uh, put on the sanding drum and, and just see what that does. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I have a sanding drum on here now and uh, just give it a whirl here. Yeah, it doesn't have a it doesn't have much torque, but uh, it, it is only suitable for really light work. Yeah, 
as you can see there. So yeah, it's, um, I'm sure you could stop that with your hand if you wanted to. Um, I'm just trying to see if it's reversible. The switch goes in both directions. Yeah, so it is reversible, which doesn't really matter again for what we're doing, but I think it's suitable for, I think it's suitable for uh, like sanding tires or like I said, doing really small light work here at the bench. Uh, it's probably okay for that. Uh, but if, if you're doing some really, if you're doing some really um, heavy kind of stuff with it, now I got dust all over everything. If you're doing some really uh, heavy sanding with it, you know, you're cutting into plastic and this sort of thing, it's probably not really suitable for that, uh, which again is not really that surprising, um, considering what it's built for and the price. So, but yeah, like I said, for 20 bucks, I think it's a good, uh, I think it'll serve me well for uh, just here at the bench, like I said. And um, yeah, so anyways guys, that's um, a look at this little tool here. Uh, like I said, they're on Amazon, all different sizes. I'm sure you can get them more powerful than this. You can probably get them cordless as well. So yeah, so I guess the other thing you could use this for, you could put something on the end of it to, to mix your paint or anything like that, I guess. You can do more than just sand and grind with it. Um, so anyways guys. Uh, there's a quick look at that uh, tool. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'd rush out and buy another one, but like I said, it'll do what I want. So uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching and uh, hope you stay tuned.